So firstly, you pull out the crown and on the first position and on the second position you change the hands. But on the first position, you see this inner bezel here and you turn it around and now it's almost 8 o'clock and we're gonna put it at a little bit over 8. So we're gonna put this on. Then what you do is you you wound the watch. You so you gave the alarm a little bit of a power. If you had all the alarm mechanical alarm clocks, you know how this works. The age before chords. Okay, now it's fully wound. And now what you wanna do is to activate the alarm and now you go to sleep and wait hey guys welcome back I'm EDC Gunner and I'm having a nice cup of coffee with my new watch uh, actually this isn't my watch but I took it to show you guys so I have this and this is like weak on the wrist been playing around with it uh, and uh, this is a little piece and part of affordable horology it comes from Seiko it's a Seiko Bellmatic and um, it's such an interesting watch and it's super affordable for what it is uh, this is more horology this isn't your uh, everyday 7s26 movement with 200 meter water resistance there's not much horology in that but in this one here there's much more horology and you can see it looks very nice so I'm gonna give you a little tabletop and I'm gonna talk about it a bit more with you guys <music> So yeah, this is a cool Seiko Bellmatic and this is uh, the beginning of this video. I showed you how to set alarm and the alarm is set so sometimes uh, during this review the alarm will go on and I think it will be cool. Uh, at least that's the plan but uh, before that I just want to show you the, uh, the watch. This is this comes from probably uh, late 60s, 70s, uh, and the uh, design of the watch overall is just gorgeous. I hate this rattling noise here on the table. I need to put some. I need to find my piece of leather that I had um, here. But yeah, this is a uh, Seiko Bellmatic for 006 uh, caliber uh, and. Uh, Excuse me. So yeah, that's uh, how the alarm goes. So it's eight o'clock. I put it actually a little bit over eight o'clock, and like you can see, it rings beautifully when you have it on your wrist. And this is such a cool complication. I know it's not useful today, like it used to be. Uh, back in the days, but speaking from the horology uh, standpoint, this is so much cool and so little money. And uh, speaking about money, you can find this under 100 bucks and over 100 bucks on eBay. It depends on the condition, quality, the model, and lots of other, lots of other factors. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, if you are a beginner collector, uh, if you are a collector who is seeking more than a simple Seiko 7S26 with a uh, 200 meter water resistance and does nothing else, uh, it's, it's, it's no horology when compared to this one because this one has all kinds of cool and this is a watch has second kind of cool and that's for sure. Uh, let me just show you the case back and I will read you the moment uh, this particular model is 
I'm doing this all through viewfinder just for you guys so this is 4006 6040 and uh, so this is this uh, there's 6060 and lots of other to 7000 7030 6021 uh, there's lots and lots of different models but I think this one somehow looks cool and reminds me of that 70s and also another watch that it reminds me of specifically this model uh, is reminds me a little bit on uh, Vacheron Constantine overseas the new models so sorry I had to get my coffee fix but yeah it kind of reminds me of that one so uh super cool watch super fun i took this from a friend uh to have it week on rest uh, to show you guys and uh i cannot <coughs> recommend this enough if you are serious about horology if you like horology my favorite complication is chronograph uh followed by world time but I think this complication here uh, kind of took away the world time uh, for, and I think this is my second favorite complication on my watch and super cool to have sure you have a cell phone to wake you up but um, alarm clocks traditional alarm clocks they always have a place and need uh, case of zombie apocalypse uh, you are doing a watch um, walking dead uh, there is no batteries anymore no cell phones only the mechanical things that are working are good so yeah and this color combo here it's kind of cool I love it uh, it's a little bit has a little bit of sunburst and it's all in all the watch is done beautifully there are many many variations on eBay on everywhere else you can seek you can find it and uh, this is a super cool watch for and uh, you know the deal with Seiko uh, Seiko offers lots of value for money and this is the case when you dip into the vintage market you can find all sorts of the gems and this is all stainless steel construction here uh, the band uh, is folded links but that was the standard back in the days and fortunately this one cannot be put on any other leather band but you might want to take attention but I think this this band works with this watch so let me just give you a brief first shot and uh, yeah and maybe set the alarm one more time just for you guys before the wrist shot I just love wounding the watches okay 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 It doesn't last very long but super cool and I really love it uh, it always I'm always stoked when this thing goes so yeah here's the wrist shot uh, maybe I should take it a lot out a little bit now you can see the wrist shot and this watch just looks beautiful on the wrist and it works I gotta tell you this band uh, works really well with this watch and it all overall the beautiful composition and something like this today in today's market i cannot i just cannot see this goes under thousand bucks in today's market i just cannot see this goes even from seiko even from seiko this sort of complication and horology uh, under grand in today's market i just cannot see it and uh, so you should definitely sometimes dip in the vintage market 
uh, and uh, my advice for vintage market is buy from good reputable sellers and don't buy the cheapest watch around or cheapest watch available uh, maybe save up and pay a little bit of extra but get the ones that are more expensive but uh, usually there is a reason for that and usually there is a reason for those that are the cheapest ones okay here's some more wrist shots this is a bit more proper and uh, the, the band looks nice the bracelet looks nice and I think overall it works with the watch and from the looking from standpoint uh, from the other people's perspective this watch looks really cool and there's a very very uh, lots of color, color combos from blue to white to this golden color and this is so 70s um, but uh, I gotta tell you it's not very pronounced and I had the opportunity to get this one uh, I saw the bad photos and I didn't saw the potential through the bad photos I thought it was too gaudy but uh, my mate got it my mate bought it and now I have been having it week on the wrist to show you guys and this is awesome little piece of horology uh, I cannot recommend it enough so that's it for me now I'm EDC Gunner please thank you for watching and see you on the next time